this video, we'll explain the idea of a block and identify the six block categories that exist in Notion. We'll do this by creating a mission, vision, and values page for Acme Inc. Most software uses a few core concepts, writing, commenting, data structure. Still, where we sit now, you can't really manipulate these features. Instead, we duct tape things together. We have an email where we copy and paste, we have countless open tabs, and you rinse and repeat for most tools on the market. Notion originated with this idea of patterns. Why not give people these common elements directly, allowing them to build their own perfect tools? In a way, it's like Lego blocks. With just a couple of block sizes and colors, people can create massively incredible toys and statues. So why can't the same be true of software? To solve this, we use our own version of blocks. Blocks are the basic unit of construction in Notion. Everything that you add to a page is a block. Text is contained in a block, this header is a block, and so is this image. So let's look at a constructed Notion page. There are 12 different blocks on this page, including seven different block types. Each piece of text without a line break is a block, including each of these bullet points. The title's not a block, but that's a technicality we can get to later. There are over 500 block types in Notion, and you can read all about those in our Help Center. But for the purposes of this lesson, you should understand that there are six basic block categories. The first is text blocks. This includes pages, normal text, headings, bullet points, toggles, to-do lists, callouts, and quotes. The second is inline blocks. If you're familiar with HTML, this is actually the exact vocabulary that is used there. These blocks are basically things that live within another block, like mentions or date objects. The third is media blocks, and as the name suggests, media blocks include images, video, and audio uploads, all of which can be played right inside of Notion. Next is embed blocks. These are anything that get pulled in from another website, like a map, a YouTube video, or a design. These are one of the most unique features in Notion, and they make up most of the 500 block types that we offer. We'll spend several lessons getting to know database blocks, but for now, just know that they exist and they look like these tables and boards. There's also advanced blocks, which are some more complex features specific to Notion that we won't really get into in this video, but they include things like synced blocks and table of contents. All right, with all of that context, let's get into some exploration. To explore block types, you can use the slash command or hit the plus sign here. Let's go ahead and construct a document using several block types. To keep it simple, we'll create a mission, vision, and values page for Acme Inc. First, let's give our page a title, in this case, simply mission, vision, and values, and then select an icon. Next, let's add the mission, vision, and value statements as text. Text is a default block type in Notion, so we don't need to add it, we just start typing. To add some style and emphasis, we can add an image by again using the plus sign or the slash command. That will bring up a gray box that looks like this, and we can either upload, add a link, or select an image from Unsplash. I'll do the Unsplash option here and just grab an image of a person at a computer, but you could obviously do something that resonates with you and your org. Just like we did in the last lesson, we can go ahead and rearrange columns using the drag and drop six dot menu. And as you can see, we could continue to add blocks and style here with very little restriction. Every other lesson you take here will cover how blocks can be combined to create new pages and display new information. Just like Lego blocks, these will create everything that you could possibly consider building in Notion. To use this knowledge on your own, go ahead and edit the page that you created in the last video to include some media block types. 